Right now, our sea surface temperatures down in the Caribbean in the mid 80s over the eastern Caribbean, a little cooler in some spots, but generally low to mid 80s, these water temperatures, and you just need 80 degrees or warmer to support tropical development. You know, we're into the hurricane season now. We've seen some activity already, but these sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic Basin We've been dealing with record warm sea surface temperatures since March of 2023, and the temperatures are well above average for most of the Atlantic Basin. This can be a threat to tropical reefs. It also increases tropical activity. 2023 was a very active season, and that was during a La Nina where we typically have less activity. So, you know, with that La Nina gone now, we are set up for a very active hurricane season, and we may see an earlier start to the Cape Verde storm season as well. Now, you might be going, okay, Craig, we know about the hurricane season. What's a Cape Verde season? Well, this is the time of year the Cape Verde season where we get more storms and waves coming off the African coast and then those areas of low pressure develop and turn into tropical systems as they come across. We call it the Cape Verde season because they form around the Cabo Verde Islands. Now, we typically have the Cape Verde season mainly like August and into early to mid-September. Okay, this year because the water temperatures are so warm, there are signs we could see an earlier start. In fact, there's one area we're already watching. So these areas shaded in orange, and this information comes from NOAA and climate.gov, two to five degrees above average. Most of these areas in the basin you see in the light oranges. Where you see the dark oranges and the reds, these areas, we actually have six to nine degree above average sea surface temperatures. This is very, very warm. This includes areas along the Gulf Stream and the northeast U.S. coast. There are some areas where it's a little cooler than average, but you can see the big picture here. The Atlantic is very warm, in fact, record warm. So what does this mean? Well, again, these waters are already warm enough to support tropical development. So we've got to keep an eye across the entire basin. Right now, there's a wave moving through the Caribbean that does have a low chance of development, but we could see it possibly developing over the next seven days, somewhere around the Yucatan or possibly into the southern Gulf of Mexico. And then there's this area, and this is what I really wanted to show you. We've got another wave few hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands, and this is moving west at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. As of Wednesday morning, the Hurricane Center saw about a 30% chance of development. These waters, as I just told you, very warm, more typical of what you'd expect to find late summer. So the stage is set. We could have a tropical system develop very early for a Cape Verde system. We'll keep you updated at 13 News Now.